Okay, ELA1, this is a quick example of what to do for the extra credit if you decide to do it. Basically, I got thinking that moving forward, if indeed we are online full time like we are right now, or maybe we're online part time, what they call blended learning, I don't know what fall is going to look like, but I can almost guarantee that we are going to have an increased use of technology. Let's say we're only going to school, and again, I have no idea of what's going to happen in the fall, but let's say we're going to school two days a week and we're online three days a week, or we're going to school in the afternoon for some classes and online in the morning for other classes, right? That could be some sort of what we're calling blended, or we're a little bit at home online, we're a little bit face-to-face -face at school, or of course, if we're all online. Um... Uh, essentially, I really see that we're going to be using a lot of technology. That's going to come with a lot of questions. Those of you <laughs> dealing with Chromebook issues, I know have had a lot of questions and issues. But if you think about it, you're going to have, what, maybe four classes? So maybe you are using Zoom in some classes and Google Meets in others. Maybe you're using a Prezi in one class and a Google Slide in another class. Maybe you're learning about you know, Google Drive and how to store things. Maybe you are using Microsoft Word. There's a, going to be a lot of technology that we're going to use, and I need to know what's going on just like you guys need to know what's going on. Sometimes I don't even know. Like I started looking at, you know, Screencast-O-Matic. There's a ton of different things out there. I mean, I found like five or six with just one search and there's actually a lot more. Now, maybe for some of you guys, you know, you like Google Slides, maybe others like Prezi, maybe others like PowerPoint. That's going to be the same thing for everything. So just like some of you, maybe you like Screencast-O-Matic, there are other ones out there. I mean, the goal is really just to create a video to talk over your presentation right? That's the goal. But it doesn't really matter how you get there. Same thing with a presentation. When you are assigned a presentation for class, usually teachers don't really care if you're using PowerPoint or Prezi or Google Slides, just so long as that you follow the rubric and get the task done. So here's my idea. Because we're going to be using more and more technology, I want to have a one-stop shop. Now, as long as you have this link, which you do, to this shared document, you should be able to access it and hopefully get help. So check it out. ECELA1. I might even end up changing this name. But for now, we're starting with that. Eventually, it'll you know be just a one-stop shop for technology. The idea going forward in education, we will be relying more and more on technology. In one class, teachers might ask you to use several different apps, websites, or parts of technology, etc. To help with that, I want to create a tutorial base. Essentially, each edition you make is going to include three things. One, a link to the actual product, the website, the app. Two, a brief description of the product. Three, a tutorial video if possible. Maybe you got to search YouTube, or I'll show you how to, you can search for videos. Maybe there's not a video that's created boy you could make one or in some case, cases maybe you find um some directions on their website that you could link us to or uh, if it's not a tutorial maybe testimonials something that helps us out so hopefully it's three things a link to the product a brief description and hopefully a tutorial video now i've added some categories i want you to when you add put your name in parentheses and fill it in in the correct space according to the category. So, so far I was kind of brainstorming, but I thought, boy, there's going to be blogs that we're going to be using, you know, cloud and file sharing, document creation, help with ELA stuff, foreign language stuff, grammar, history, math, miscellaneous, which I'm envisioning is going to be a lot. That means just something that doesn't fit into a category right now. Then we've got like notes and note taking and organization. We've got presentations, which we're going to have a lot, reading science, and then like video creation. So I've already done one example, although I should really put example from Mr. B, because I want you guys to put your name in parentheses. So all you have to do are three things. The actual site, so I did Prezi, 
and there's a link that brings you to the Prezi website. A description of what it is, and Prezi is an alternative to Google Slides or PowerPoint. Prezi is more engaging and displays information in unique, memorable ways. And then last but not least, there's the tutorial video. Boom, three things, that's all I need you to do. So I wanna add one now to show you in real time how to do this. You know I've used Screencast, right? Screencast-O-Matic. So I'm gonna go ahead and type it in here, Screencast-O-Matic. Boom, there's the site. So first thing, we need the actual site or the app. I'm gonna copy. I'm going to go back. I'm going to make it my own little separate thing because I don't want it to follow Prezi. So I'm going to up here where you can click on. Uh, where is it? There it is, those three dots. I'm going to get a bullet. Oh, we got to put it in the right place, though. I'm going to get a bullet. There we go. Screen cast o matic so I'm going to highlight, right click, I've got the link, and paste. I just pasted it, and now it's turned into a link. Now, to get this tab, or bullet to move over, I'm just going to hit tab. Okay? So what is Screencast-O-Matic? An easy way to record your voice on top of your presentation. It creates a video that you can upload to YouTube. Boom, that's a pretty accurate, pretty simple. Then the last thing is a tutorial video. So I went to Screencast, and of course, as you know, so this may be where you have to kind of hopefully, you could certainly Google it, but I happen to know that they have tutorials right here on their website. They've got all different kinds, but it's basically, you know, welcoming you to Screencast and kind of getting started. Uh, of course, there's a whole bunch of other ones here. So I might even do two things here. I might copy the tutorials because there's a bunch. Multiple tutorial videos available. Available. So I'm going to do tutorial videos. Highlight. Right click, link, and that's where I paste, control V, apply. But then I want to give a specific one, which is the, going back to the site, what's that one I gave to you guys, I believe? It's just, yeah, welcome to Screencast-O-Matic. So I'm just going to click it. There she is. So you can play it if you want to make welcome sure. Welcome to Screencast-O-Matic. And I'm going to right click the video, copy video address. Okay, good, got the video address. I'm gonna go plug it in here. Uh, we're gonna say, welcome, whoops, welcome video. Again, right click, link. I've already copied the URL, control V, apply. Now let's make sure that works. So I'm gonna open up a new URL. Here's that video, I'm gonna paste it. Sure enough, it goes right to where I want it. Okay, perfect. So, that's it. Now, of course, I, I did it. So, it's going to be example from Mr. V. So, that's all you would have to do. Once again, find where you think your item goes. If you're unsure, put it in miscellaneous. Next, you're going to create the bullet point. Again, that's over here with the ellipses, the dot, dot, dot. So, you're going to pick your bullet point under you know if you find something for math create your bullet point then you're just going to create three bullet points that first one is a link to the actual website itself and then your name in parentheses so i know who did it then you're going to hit enter and then hit tab that's how you get that bullet point to move over and then you're just going to give a brief description of what it is i mean a one to two sentence description of what this thing is you're going to hit enter again and then you're going to do your tutorial video once again you can always Include your links in two ways. So let's say I wanted to do a link here. I'm going to highlight the whole thing. You can right click and do the link, or you'll notice there's the hyperlink button right here as well. It brings you to the same thing, right? Okay. So that's it. A bullet point of the website, the app, whatever, with a link to it, your name in parentheses, a quick description, and then a link to a tutorial video. Again, 
anything you think will help with education. Now, these again are the things that I brainstormed, blogs, cloud file sharing, document creation, ELA, foreign language, grammar, history, math, miscellaneous, note taking, which probably there's a ton of stuff out there. Maybe you've got an app about note taking, presentations, reading, science, videos. Another way, if you're having trouble finding a tutorial video, maybe you just type in screen cat. Cast o matic tutorial video. So there, a video came right up. Here's some other ones. And then you can even click the videos to make sure that all these are videos. Welcome to Screencast. Beginner's Guide to Screencast. Welcome to Screencast O Matic. A short course in using Screencast O Matic. So obviously, you want to kind of preview it. You want to know what you're linking to. But that's a good way by typing it into Google to find some tutorial videos. Right. If you want to type in tutorial video or just type in what you're looking for, screencast omatic, maybe tutorial, and then you search and then you can click videos. Okay, so a number of ways for you to find what you need, but again, only three things, the link to the product itself, a brief description, and then the tutorial video. Don't forget to file it where you think it should go. And then of course, put your name in parentheses so I can give you the points. I'm assuming if you don't know where it goes, just toss it in miscellaneous, okay? All right, that's the explanation of the extra credit. And again, as long as you have this link, I am really hoping that by the end of this, there's a real wealth of resources here for you guys to use in the future. And save, this, save the email, save the link. You've got the link to it, save it on your computer so you can get back to this document and hopefully use for educational proper ways. We're going to try to be a village here. We're going to try to help one another in the future get better. I need to know new technologies out there to tell my students about. So I want you to help me help them. We're going to help each other. So I also, you know, of course, have gone over this already on the Monday video. So be sure you watch that Monday video. But I think this pretty much lets you know exactly what you need to do for the extra credit. Obviously, I've picked two, so don't do Prezi or Screencast-O-Matic. Also, if somebody did the one, like if you were going to do, I don't know, um, Schmoop or something for ELA and somebody already did it, yeah, they did it. You can do it as well. So you've got to pick one that's not there. So the sooner you do this, the more choices you're going to have. But I know, I mean, I've got, what, 60 students for ELA 1? I know there's a heck of a lot more than 60 educationally cool websites out there to help with all this stuff. So you should have lots to pick from. Maybe you need to do some searching. Again, this is only extra credit, but it's really designed to help one another, to help me help you guys in the future as we are doing more and more online stuff. Okay, guys, if you have any questions, please email me. Keep an eye on your email this week. Take care.